Jean-Antoine Chaptal, Comte de Chanteloup, was a distinguished French chemist, physician, agronomist, industrialist, statesman, educator and philanthropist. His multifaceted career unfolded during one of the most brilliant periods in French science. Chaptal made his way into this elite company in Paris beginning in the 1780s and established his credentials as a serious scientist most definitely with the publication of his first major scientific treatise, The Lemons de Chimia. His treatise brought the term nitrogen into the revolutionary new chemical nomenclature developed by Lavoisier. Significantly, by 1795, at the newly established École Polytechnique in Paris, Chaptal shared the teaching of courses in pure and applied chemistry with Claude Berthollet, the doyen of the science. In 1798, Chaptal was elected a member of the prestigious chemistry section of the Institut de France. He became president of the section in 1802 soon after Napoleon appointed him as his Minister of Interior. Chaptal founded the Important Society for the Encouragement of National Industry in 1801 and he was a key organizer of the industrial expositions held in Paris beginning in that same year. Chaptal was especially strong in applied science. Beginning in the early 1780s, he published an almost continuous stream of practical essays on such things as salts and tars, alum, sulfur, pottery and cheese making, sugar beets, fertilizers, bleaching, degreasing, painting and dyeing. As a chemicals industrialist, he was a major producer of hydrochloric, nitric and sulfuric acids, and was much sought after as a technical consultant for the manufacture of gunpowder. His reputation as a master of applied science, dedicated to using the discoveries of chemistry for the benefit of industry and agriculture, was furthered with the publication of his lap d'affaire, de gouverneur et de perfection à les vannes en la chimie appliquée aux arts, works that drew on the theoretical chemistry of Lavoisier to revolutionize the art of wine making in France. His new procedure of adding sugar to increase the final alcohol content of wines came to be called chaptalization. In 1802, Chaptal purchased the Chateau de Chanteloup on its extensive grounds in Touraine, near Amboise. He experimented there in his later years on a model farm for the cultivation of sugar beets. He composed a valuable study of the development of French industry. De l'Industrie Française and wrote his classic study of the application of scientific principles to the cultivation of land, chimia appliquée à l'agriculture. He also compiled his important political memoir, M.E.'s Souvenirs sur Napoléon, published eventually in 1893. Biography Early life Chaptal was born in Nogaret in southwestern France, the youngest son of small landowners. He was fortunate to have a rich uncle, Claude Chaptal, who was a prominent physician at Montpellier. The young Chaptal's brilliant record at the area colleges of Mender and Rhodes encouraged his uncle to finance him through medical school at the University of Montpellier, 1774-77, and this financial support was continued for three and one-half years of postgraduate study in medicine and chemistry in Paris. These were perhaps the best of times for the young Chaptal. He returned to Montpellier in 1780 to a salaried chair in chemistry at the university, where his lectures were acclaimed. Married in 1781, Anne-Marie Lajard, the daughter of a rich cottons merchant, and with his wife's substantial dairy, plus even more capital supplied by his generous uncle, established at Montpellier one of the first chemical factories in France. The enterprise, manufacturing mineral acids, alum, white lead, soda and other substances, was a great success. His activities in applied science won the recognition of the French government, which presented him with Lettre de Noblesse and the cordon of the Ordre de Saint-Michel. Chaptal reported regularly on his studies in chemistry applied to industry and agriculture for the Société Royale des Sciences de Montpellier. 
His work began to be published by the Académie Royale des Sciences and in the Annales de Chimie, a new journal founded in 1789 by Berthollet, Guyton, Fourcroy and others for reportage on the new chemistry and its application. Revolution reflecting later in his life on the revolution in France, Chaptal wrote, In the widespread confusion and flood of all passions, the wise man will consider carefully the role he must play, it will appear to him equally dangerous in the midst of such agitation to remain either an active or to participate. Chaptal was a man of liberal ideas who believed in change and human progress. Initially, he welcomed the revolution, but he determined to take action in 1793 against the extremism of the Committee of Public Safety of the National Convention. As a consequence, he was arrested, imprisoned, and in danger of being guillotined. Fortunately for Chaptal, his value to the nation as an industrial chemist was deemed sufficient to excuse his politics. France at the time was desperately in need of gunpowder to supply the armies of the revolution. By order of Lazare Carnot, the Minister of War, Chaptal was charged with the management of the major gunpowder factory at Grenelle in Paris. Chaptal recounts in his memoirs how, with the help of his chemist colleagues Berthollet, Fourcroy, Guyton and others, he was able to introduce new and more rapid methods for refining saltpetre and produce increasing amounts of gunpowder at Grenelle. In the language of the Committee of Public Safety, it was the service expected of un bon citoyen, consulate, empire, and restoration after the 18 Brumecu he was made a councillor of state by the first consul, and succeeded Lucien Bonaparte as Minister of the Interior, in which capacity he established a chemical manufactory near Paris, a school of arts and a society of industries, among many works in the fields of science and the arts, he reorganized their hospitals, introduced the metric system. A misunderstanding between him and Napoleon provoked Chaptal's retirement from office in 1804, but before the end of that year he was again received, into favor by the emperor, who awarded him with the Grand Cross of the Legion of Honor, and made him treasurer to the Senate. On Napoleon's return from Elba, Chaptal was made Director General of Commerce and Manufactures and a Minister of State. In 1816, however, he was nominated a member of the French Academy of Sciences by Louis XVIII. He died in Paris. His name is one of the 72 names inscribed on the Eiffel Tower. The Lycée Chaptal was named in his honor in 1848. Scientific Works Chaptal was especially a popularizer of science, attempting to apply to industry and agriculture the discoveries of chemistry. In this way, he contributed largely to the development of modern industry. The process of adding sugar to unfermented wine in order to increase the final alcohol level is known as chaptalization after him. In addition to various articles, he wrote especially in the Annale de Chimie, Elements de Chimie Elements of Chemistry, John Byron, for John Conrad & Co., Philadelphia, 1801-673 p. Traité du Salpeter et des Godrons. Tableau des principaux sels terro. Essay sur le perfectionnement des arts chimiques en France. Art de fer, de gouverneur, et de perfection les vins et treatises upon wines, translated from the French by John H. Sargent, printed by John H. Sargent, 1811, 166 p. Traité Terry K. Pratique sur Iowa culture de Iowa vin, and c. Essay sur le blanchiment. La Chimie appliquée aux arts chemistry applied to arts and manufacture, printed for R. Phillips, London, 1807. Art de la peinture du coton en rouge. Art du peinturier et du digresseur. De l'industrie française. Chimie appliquée à l'agriculture. 